Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to configure a Chrome OS virtual machine in VMware Workstation. So what you need to do is you first need to download this OVA file from a website here, which I'll put a link in the description so you can download it for yourself. And so I have that file here, this is Cloud Ready Home Edition. And then from VMware Workstation, you just want to go, it's different than installing from an ISO file. So you want to go to File and Open instead of New Virtual Machine. And then browse to that OVA file. And then give it a name. We're going to call it Cloud Ready Home. And pick the path for it. And then click on Import. And it'll take a minute. Okay, so now we have our Cloud Ready Home. Let me move it over where we can see it here. And if you want, you could go to the uh, settings here if you need to adjust anything. So the default is 4 gigs of RAM and 2 processors, 32 gig hard drive. So one thing I noticed, it does a bridged network adapter. And that doesn't seem to work out too well. So I just put it to NAT like the other VMs use. And then we'll start it up. Okay, so I got the screen resolution kind of small to record the video, so it's not really fitting on the screen. So once you get this welcome screen, just click on Let's Go, unless you need to change something here. So found the internet connection, so Ethernet connected. Next. Okay, so you could check uncheck this box if you don't want to send information to them. Continue. All right, now you could either sign in, or you could, uh, with your Google account, or you could sign in as, or, you know, Go as a guest, so we're just going to sign in just to make it easier to keep track of the apps and stuff. So I'm going to use this test account I use. Okay, so this is all set and ready to start using your Chrome device. So get started. And so now you got this pop up screen here. You could just close unless you want to read or sign up for the more advanced version. So once again, I can't really fit it on the screen. So we have our desktop here with nothing much on it. Uh, we have this one, we've got the YouTube app, which I installed previously. So you have a couple of buttons, your launcher. So for web browser, if you want to see your files, that kind of thing. You know, nothing here, obviously. And you have your web browser, camera, settings. So if you go to settings, You have all the generic stuff, your network settings, Bluetooth, connected devices, same kind of settings like you'd see in Google Chrome. And like I said, you could click on the Chromium web browser if you want to open that and do some browsing. And then you have your other settings here if you want to sign out, power off, go to settings there, lock the computer, change your Ethernet settings, notifications, volume, and that kind of thing. Okay, so if you want to install some additional apps, you could just go to the Chrome Web Store. And then, you know, do a search for whatever you want here or scroll through the categories and so on. Let's say we want a game, for example. Let's say something generic like Solitaire, add to Chrome. Click on Add App. And you can launch it from the browser. Or if we go to our tray down here, we have our apps there. And then once again, you can just launch it like that. So anyway, so you could kind of figure out how you kind of navigate around here and install the apps. I just wanted to show you how to get the uh, Chrome OS on your VMware workstation to begin with. So like I said, I'll put a uh, link to that OVA file and just do the file and open and follow the instructions. Make sure you change the uh, bridge network adapter to NAT and then sign in with your account just to make it easier. You know, it'll keep track of your apps and add any apps that you've already previously added. And then you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>